My name's Eben Escott, and I'm the CEO and founder of CodeBots. Um, we've started a new event called Code for Peace. Uh, it's about uh, the supporting Peace One Day on the 21st of September, and it's about how you can actually create and use software projects to make a more peaceful world. Fantastic. Tell us about CodeBots. CodeBots are software robots that write code. You can teach them any different uh, technology stack you're using, and they can be used to develop and help and augment your development team uh, from uh, new applications all the way through to legacy systems. Uh, these little bots write a lot of code. Why is Peace Day 21st of September important to you? Peace Day is important to me because I am a very strong believer in peace. I met Jeremy uh, a lifetime ago back in the UK where we bonded um, over wakeboarding, uh, a common sport. I didn't even know who Jeremy was at that point in time. Uh, and I got to know him uh, and find out about this incredible journey that, that he was on. And I was so inspired um, that we started up an event, got to eight countries, uh, and we had hundreds of people wakeboarding around the world in support of, of Peace Day. Uh, and now we've extended that out. Now I'm back here in Australia to be our uh, code for peace. Uh, so we're hoping this is going to be another global success as well. And then just talk to us a little bit more about code for peace. I mean, what's gonna happen? What do people do? So code for peace, uh, you can nominate uh, any company in the world uh, for the prize. They might be doing something that's uh, inclusive. They might be doing something uh, which helps in some form of justice or strong institutions. Just there's so many things that are considered to be peace tech. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at all these different companies and trying to work out, you know, who has the biggest impact on SDG uh, 16. And it's uh, pretty exciting stuff. Amazing. So goal 16, peace and justice. You know, that's at the sort of center of code for peace, is it? Oh, definitely. Definitely. SDG um, 16, goal 16. That's, a, that's at the center of what we want to do. And a lot of people that are building really cool tech out there at the moment don't even realize um, that they've actually got an opportunity uh, to contribute and help out um, with, with goals around this. I've seen some really awesome apps come out in the last you know, year or so. Um, right here in Australia, we've helped build a few ourselves. Um, one we've uh, been working on is called Better Health Plus, has been like a, a mental health platform, which is very important at the moment with all the things going on around the world. Another one called Impactor is a social good platform where you can share exciting and fun things you're doing to help people um, do sustainability, inclusive um, behaviors, this type of thing. Uh, so there's a lot of work going on in this space and Code for Peace is a great opportunity for us not to just recognize what actually happens um, or what these entrepreneurs are doing there, but also um, encourage them along their journey and realize that, that peace is at the core of everything that we should be looking at. And will the winner be announced on Peace Day? Yep, we're going to be announcing the winner on Peace Day. Uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, they're going to get an exclusive one-on-one um, -on -one session with uh, Jeremy and talk all things peace. Um, and they're going to be um, crowned our first winner and lots of cool things are gonna flow from that. Evan, how do people register to become involved? Yep, so jump onto the Peace One Day website and go to the commit page, uh, or you can jump on the CodeBots website and go to the Code for Peace page. And on that page there, you can just nominate uh, any company in the world, uh, what your friends are working on, on your own, whatever it is, nominate a company that you think is doing something that's having a, a positive impact on uh, peace. Uh, and you just put out a, a little description and hit the submit button. How can coding help create a more peaceful and sustainable world? I think coding is super important to create a more peaceful and sustainable world because there's so many things that we do today that are just based on, on, on interactions with apps and this type of thing. You look at some of the, the big companies that uh, are sort of advertising based that are trying to grab people's attention and this type of thing. It sort of, it sends mixed messages, but I think if we're a, a little bit more 
thoughtful around how we use technology, we can have a lot more of an actual inclusive culture, um, better platforms to support people through various journeys that they might be going on uh, through conflict or through justice or whatever it is. There's so many different ways. Um, the use of blockchain, I'd love to see peace as an actual currency one day that can be exchanged. There's so many different ways that we can actually uh, use technology to, to support um, peace one day. Okay, Eben, thank you very much.